you're probably familiar with this notation and what it means. Exponentiation is repeated multiplication. You might not be familiar with this notation. Tetration, or a superpower, is repeated exponentiation. We compute these in the same way we compute exponents, working top to bottom down this tower. 3 cubed is 27. Next, 3 to the 27th is getting pretty large pretty quick. And this number is ridiculously large. With numbers this big, how can we even think about solving equations involving these tetrations? Well, hopefully I can give you some insight in one quick video. Which is exactly the kind of thing the sponsor of today's video, Blinkist, does. Blinkist is the incredible app that distills key insights from thousands of nonfiction books and podcasts into just minutes of reading or listening. Whether you're into science, history, self-improvement, or any other field, Blinkist has you covered with summaries from a vast range of categories. I gotta tell you, I'm seriously into this app. I used to spend dozens or even hundreds of hours listening to audiobooks, and Blinkist just breaks it down into minutes. One book that especially resonated with me was Atomic Habits by James Clear. It's all about the small changes you can make that lead to remarkable results, which is really what Blinkist is all about. And Blinkist just launched a new feature called Blinkist Spaces. It's a really cool feature that allows you to create a space with your friends or family to share and discuss your favorite titles. It's kind of like having a portable book club in your pocket, accessible anytime, anywhere. If you're as excited as I am about blending education and entertainment and getting key insights from these blinks, then I've got some good news for you. You can get started for free with a seven day trial, and after that, get 25% off Blinkist's annual premium plan by clicking the link in the description of this video. Thanks very much to Blinkist for sponsoring this video. Check out the link below to subscribe. To solve tetration equations like this, we should think about how we solve exponential equations. Typically, those are solved by writing both sides of the equation with the same base. Let's do just that. The left-hand side is base 2, we can't do much there. Fortunately, the right-hand side is base 4. That we can write as 2 squared, and we can start playing around with these exponents. In this case, we can multiply the exponents. Now both sides of the equation are the same base. Now you might be tempted to remove those bases from the equation, just like you would with a traditional exponential. Before that, we actually have to change the right-hand side so it's in this tetration form. How can we write 2 to the 16th as this power tower? Luckily, we can rewrite 2 to the 16th as a tower of 2s. 16 is the same as 2 to the 4th, and we've already seen 4 is 2 squared. So 2 to the 16th is 2 to the 2 to the 2 to the 2 which writing in the notation we're using here gives us this fourth superpower. Now we're in a situation where we have equivalent bases. We can set these superscripts equal. Now, once again, this is not a traditional exponent of two. We need to say what this actually means. This is actually x to the x, and we run into a new problem. Although with a little bit of creativity, once again, 4 is 2 squared, and a little bit of pattern recognition. There is a slight problem, though. How do we know that this is the only solution? In fact, there's another technique and another function that yields other results. In order to do it, you'll have to watch this video here. I'll walk you through this other lesser known algebra technique that you also probably didn't learn in school. I'll see you in that one. 